Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I am doing my 12 week pregnancy update, which is super exciting because I only have technically a week left until I'm done with my first trimester and then I'm just one step closer. So yeah, I'm like over the moon right now, but I'm also one step closer to not feeling like crap pretty much. So I'm just gonna kind of get through this video and try not to do a lot of rambling. So <laughs> apparently baby is the size of a lemon this week and that's really hard to believe. Like I feel like my tummy does not resemble that at all. Like a lemon? I don't know. Well, I mean, I know crown to rump though. Like that's, that's pretty big. I don't know, at least like, I, I don't know. I'm a little freaked out by that. This week I feel like has been like, a night and day compared to how I've been feeling from the last week and just since my pregnancy started. I swear since the last video I made, this entire week, up to 12 weeks, has been the worst. The worst. And I hope that it ends at 13 weeks and I just have one more week of dealing with it. And I just got lucky, like I only had to do it for a week or two. I feel like my symptoms are just like progressing and getting worse. So hopefully I'm not pregnant, like nauseous and everything throughout my entire pregnancy. I can't even go to bed at night. So I go to school on Tuesdays and Thursdays and I get out of class at nine. And so those are the nights where like I like to, you know, since I'm already up and I come home and the girls are asleep already, I like to like, you know, do homework or um, just kind of relax and take that time for myself. This past week I haven't even been tr able to go to bed because I'm so nauseous. I've tried like having small snacks like crackers and things or um, like I had some ginger ale and I was trying to drink that. I even got those little like um, C-band things and you're supposed to wear them on each um, wrist and they kind of just sit in my purse. I need to put them on again. It always happens at night, usually around, oh, I want to say like 7.30, 8 o'clock is when I start to feel nauseous. And then um, that pretty much, at first it was lasting until like 11ish. And now it's lasting until like one in the morning and it's horrible. I also feel like, okay, this is, it's like I'm, I'm jinxed to myself is what I feel like because last video I was like, oh no, nausea, my skin is perfect, my nails are growing. And now it's like the total opposite. My face is disgusting now. I am breaking out. I'm sure you guys can tell I have like a pimple over here. I had a huge pimple. Where was it? It was somewhere around here and it was disgusting. Um, and I'm one of those people, it's like, I don't like to pop pimples. I like to let them be and you know, I'll wash my face and I'll like, won't wear makeup and I'll take care of it and stuff. But like, it really bothers, this is, might be too much information, but it really bothers my husband because he's like a picker, you know, and I'm not. Like I don't pick at stuff. I'm totally cool with that. Like not picking on my skin and like on, you know, just stuff in general, but he is. So um, when he sees, when he like has been seeing my pimples lately, he's like, come on, please just take care of it. I'm like, I can't and I will not take care of it. That might be too gross. Let me know if any of you guys out there like, are like hardcore believers and like just letting it be letting nature take its course it's gross it's disgusting and i like you know i don't go anywhere to do anything but um i feel i'm just so afraid of scarring like i've had that happen to me when i was like in junior high and high school i was breaking out and i would i had this bad habit of picking and i have some like a, two or three scars on my left cheek from from just like picking at pimples and i remember the pimples i mean they were so my skin is bad now. It's disgusting. It's horrible. Um, I've been trying to cut back on like sugars and definitely not having, for a while I was pretty bad. Like I was going back to drinking soda and stuff. I was like in love with Dr. Pepper. And then my nails decided to get all brittle. So I had to cut them short. I mean, they look healthier now, but for a moment there, they were like peeling and stuff. I don't know what happened this week, guys. Like I'm freaked out. It's just like completely opposite. My sleep has been pretty good. Luckily, um, you know, besides like maybe Senna getting up every now and then, not every day, but you know, like, I don't know, maybe once or twice a week and my husband or I will get her and normally she wants to come back to our bed and she'll pass out. And 
Um, she loves to like hog the bed. She sleeps like I do. I don't wake up once in the middle of the night to go to the restroom. But first thing I do when I wake up, and in fact, it, it's kind of nice because it like, it just like makes me jump out of bed. I'm super, super, super excited though because on Monday I have my ultrasound my 12 week ultrasound and apparently they're just gonna like look to see look at the neck how wide it is or whatever to, to kind of rule out um down syndrome or something my ultrasound is going to be exciting because i finally get to actually physically hear the baby's heartbeat and just make sure that he or she is just, you know, chugging along merrily just the way he or she should be. Um, I'm going to try to see, because I'm gonna do like a 3D ultrasound, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, it doesn't hurt to ask, but I'm gonna see like, maybe if she could take a peek at the genitals and you know, <laughs> if there's anything we could see. I've read about, you know, people finding out at 12 weeks from the ultrasound, like a 3D ultrasound, so if any of you guys have, let me know in the comments down below because if seriously if that's possible and and if it was accurate too so when i first before i found out i was pregnant i was 134 because i was seeing a um personal trainer and so you know he put him on put me on the scale and all that stuff and i was 134 which is actually like the heaviest i've been non-pregnant um and then when i had my first appointment i was 130 Two or 133 um, and then the appointment after that it was 130 so I'm pretty sure I'm like around 130 right now which is in general it's I should be more than what I usually am usually I weigh about like this might sound really bad like 120 ish and I am 5'9 so I usually weigh between 118 120 um, I was like a stick growing up and um, it's kind of nice, like, I don't know, I've been able to gain more weight and stuff and fill out here and there. <laughs> I lost weight in my first trimester, so, and which is weird because I wasn't like vomiting or anything like that. So I think what it was is I just, I didn't ha really have an appetite. Like I ate only when necessary because I was nauseous recently and before I felt nauseous, I just... I ate, you know, when I was hungry and I wasn't hungry very often and sometimes I'd make dinner and, you know, it'd be sitting there and I'm like, oh. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the belly real quick. Okay, so I am officially doing the, um, what are these things called again? I forgot what these called. I have a nude one, a white one, and a black one, um, but they pretty much allow you to do this. <laughs> I'm doing the hair tie trick, so, yeah. Pretty much it. I really, uh, like that's just really tight. Oh my God, look at, I feel so fluffy now. So anyways, I'll go ahead and show you guys the belly. This is this side, look at that. How exciting. This is the other side. So like, let me, I'm gonna seriously try to, it's kind of funny when you try to suck in to see like the real, like, I don't know, size. So that's me sucking in. Oh my god if you guys are new to my channel hello thank you to all the new subscribers and thank you for everyone who has stuck around i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video leave any questions or comments down below and subscribe if you're interested in seeing more videos and um you guys can also follow me on instagram and snapchat and that stuff is all downstairs so you guys can probably hear my daughter and i have to go because it's nap time so i will see you guys in my next video bye